Hello, 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 my friendly friends. It is Vare here again today. And at first, I had no idea what I was going to do today. I was plumb out of ideas. But then when I was doing my daily stuff, which is accepting the design notes quest from Twilly for that 150 lore master rep, I found this. Test class. This is why I bought that armor. In fact, I bought it twice. I bought both the evolved, the enchanted evolved version and the normal version. It doesn't matter. But I have this class now. And let's take a look through this before I go and f grab it and farm it up. Let's see. Light damage increases the amount that late as so it stacks so it's a stacking class it appears so it'll stack up to 150 percent damage so the opponent takes maybe i'd like to say let me multiply i'm really bad at multiply okay maybe i'm I'll, whatever it would be 2.5 times extra damage oh my god i'm bad at multiplying i'm really good at multiplying except for when i'm not that's why right now it's bad and then there's this light blast it deals damage that it's hit but cannot crit a stack of blinded by light and decreases by five per stack and last six seconds and not restacked oh so it decreases your opponent's chance to hit by 25 percent that's actually pretty big Net of light, 300 spell damage, up to 6 allies, so that's going to heal a lot. So this is clearly a full whiz type class. Increases damage, crit, hit, dodge, and, and doesn't stack, but it increases normal damage, crit damage, crit chance, hit chance, dodge chance, haste, and damage resist. What? Wow! Burned by light, it will... So it's basically a nuke that immediately deals 500% damage, then afterwards it dots for 700% over 10 seconds, so it'll deal 70% of normal damage per second on average, but since dots tick every two ticks, it'll deal 140% of normal damage every tick. Uh, dots tick every two seconds, excuse me. Increases intelligence, haste damage. So we have... 8% haste resist plus 50% haste resist for 23% haste boost. Haste resist! Wow, there! And uh, increased damage. So it's. Alright, let's go and buy it then. Where do I buy it? Come on! Let's find out. Actually, I, I'm just gonna go to the design notes. Alright, let's see. This Friday, it'll be really. You can try out the skills right now in the class shop on your game menu. See, this is why Vare needs to read the instructions. It's in the class shop in the game menu. There it is. Handy. Wait, are they letting all legends do this? That's not fair! It's okay, all legends won't get the actual class. Just the legends who've, you know. All right, let's equip my whiz stuff because this is clearly, so clearly a caster class. And what day is it today? It is January 5th, so that is 14 days or approximately two weeks until, well, we'll equip Cape of Awe because we're gonna need that for ranking. Until I my account is old enough what the heck did I click on until my account is old enough to go to Nostalgia Town which I can't wait for either but that's two weeks so I've got to figure out two weeks worth of junk and stuff and things to do until then alright let's enhance that up pop on over to Nightmare and let's check out the class if I you know was smart enough to actually equip it. Huh, I like these. New art for the class skills. That's not, That's always nice to see. Oh, I didn't get rid of these yesterday and get those capes. No matter, I'll deal with them later. If I don't forget. Can't say I'm going to forget. Alright, let's trigger class boost. I'll go for 20 minutes. 
I'm going to pretend that this class is really good, so I'm going to pretend that it'll only take 20 minutes to get to rank 5. So let's find out, and let's turn on the chat, even though I don't like having the chat up, because I actually need to see how much rep I gain per kill to make sure that all my boosts are activated properly. Huh, I like that. Okay, 56 is 84, it looks right. So yeah, I like that. I like that, that looks pretty awesome in the spotlight, eh? That has a cool cla that has a cool animation. <laughs> That's pretty interesting to say the least. Alright, I can probably take out one more before I gotta heal up, so let's punch it to death. So what I'm seeing so far is the class deals a pretty stable amount of damage as Oh wait, no, that's critical, not evasion. So it has base 16% evasion, almost 17%, plus 23. So that will bring up to 40% evasion. That's pretty good for a caster class. It has probably evolved dark, similar uh, stats to evolved dark caster, 20% haste, 97 hit, and just under 28 crit. That seems about right. Crit chance on these are pretty high, plus the 8% crit buff from that healing ability. So that would probably bring our crit chance about 35%, which is pretty insane. So this class probably wouldn't do too bad with luck enchantments either, just like Evolved Dark Caster, which did really well with luck because of that nuke that just dealt so much damage. In fact, I still use Evolved Dark Caster with luck. <sighs> so... Yeah, that's a little bit strange that you use a, you think you'd use a caster class with luck, but you know. Of course, that's not going to be a big thing after server updates since they're uh, nerfing luck enhancements by a significant amount. All right, I am not going to survive the next fight, so I'm going to have to take a rest before I go for the ranking. So let let's answer a question I have first. Is the class ranged? Yes. The answer is yes. The class is ranged. I mean, that should be pretty obvious seeing as it's a caster class, but who knows? Evolved Dark Caster wasn't ranged, except for the nuke. I guess the second ability, the one that hit two targets, was semi-ranged, but its range was very short. So it wasn't melee, but it was definitely not fully ranged either. And this one deals significant damage, but does not, but is guaranteed to hit and cannot crit. Alright, let's sit, shoot that guy with some lingering light. Then let's blind him with light. Okay, so I saw that 670 non-crit. 66 non-crit. So, seems to be pretty solid. 674 non-crit. Yep. It looks like... Yeah, so this class, I don't know why it's critting so little. It should be critting much more often considering it's very high crit rate. This class should have no mana problems if I actually crit as I was supposed to. Oh, I know why it's not critting. Because this ability is not supposed to crit. That's why I'm running out of mana. Alright. That makes it much faster. I can get maybe three kills per, per rest up. And then it, the kills will be much, much faster. Then once I get to rank three, I can start healing. And then I don't have to worry about resting up. So yeah, so it has 620 base-ish damage. And then it obviously gets stronger as you blind it by more... By, as you throw it in more spotlight. It gains, it looks like... Well, it's not 620 base because it, I've already applied one stack of spotlight by then, it looks like. Let's try without a stack of spotlight. So it's 600 base, okay. 602 base without any stacks of spotlight. And then it gains quite a bit as it goes. Okay, so it looks like it's maybe 4 or 5 closer to that per kill. Because that, that attack does deal a lot of damage, however, I guess it is risky in terms of mana because it is very mana hungry, eating 20 mana and also guaranteed not to crit. So with, with the power of full stacks of Lingering Light, I believe that should deal about 1500-ish damage, which is pretty good on a non-crit. Alright, let's heal up. Maybe looks like... One more kill, so I'll just take that kill now. Then I don't have to worry about healing anymore, because I'll have my heal ability up, and all shall be well. So yeah, I'm seeing this class being pretty strong. Oh, that wasn't... I guess I math wrong. Yeah, 
That should have mathed correctly, unless I mathed it incorrectly, which seems more likely. I guess I mathed it wrong. It happens. Alright, let's see just how strong this is. 723 non-crit. It does not come with free... Okay, so I'm definitely seeing all my abilities being much stronger now than it was before I hit... Before I punched the heal button. So that's pretty good. And let's continue. Let's heal up a bit. So just under 2k on crits. Seeing as this has a high crit rate, you can, you know, relatively rely on the fact that you most likely will crit. So what I'm seeing here is that this class is a very strong soloing class. Because it applies a lot, a lot of debuffs to your enemy. And it also has very solid damage output and very solid healing. Plus it applies a lot of buffs to your ally with the heal skill. I ran out of mana. I guess I shouldn't use 3 too much, since it seems to be a mana hog, seeing as it can't crit. So you gotta be a little careful. So I guess it's not perfect in terms of mana regen, which I think is fair, because, they, because the honest truth is, classes that you can just keep hitting your skills because your mana regen is too strong is... Oh, I didn't check. It, yeah, of course it is caster mana regen. It would make... No sense whatsoever if it wasn't caster mono regen, that would be stupid. Alright, let's take this guy out. And yeah, the only issue is that, you know, obviously we cat even with caster mono regen, this class is actually consuming a lot of mana. Which, while I don't really like it, because I don't like my classes to consume a lot of mana, so that I can, you know, play around with them more. I still think that it's fair to have it consume a lot of mana, because otherwise the class would be stupidly broken. However, that may change after we get our rank 4 passes, which is in not too very long. And I'll... I've never tried re-logging, I've never tried just re-equipping the class. I always re-log when I hit rank 4, because the rank 4 passes don't trigger. I've never tried re-equipping the class, maybe I'll try that next. So, as we remember, Blinded by Light, before, before rank 4 passes and before any buffs, this one... Um, a random move three deals 602 damage so with a 50 percent intelligence boost seeing as our intelligence intellect i mean is at 366 a 50 percent boost on that is about 50 something so that should make a big impact on our damage output and healing output so we'll take a check on that and just see how much we gain from it. So yeah, this class is very strong from what I'm seeing so far. It can keep going through nothing for no issues. It has a very, very solid heal. It seems to have lost less mana issues when its HP is low, which is fair because it's a caster class and casters have less mana issues when they have less HP. Because their mana regen actually strengthens the lower the HP they have. All right, let's uh, let's try re-equipping the class first, and then we'll see what happens. Obviously, I've got to kill this little guy first. All right, so I'm going to equip some random matter class. And I'm going to re-equip evolved Dark caster and see how much damage I deal. So, okay, it's already been applied then. Awesome. Actually, unless that thing is, I can't tell. Let me see. It's 12 seconds, so. Yeah, it's been way more than 12 seconds since I've healed, so... Alright, so that means the buffs have already been applied. I do not have to re-log every time. I just have to equip a different class. Well, well, I'm stupid, but oh well. So yeah, now after the buffs, I'm seeing a pretty significant damage increase from 602 base to 682 base. That's 80 extra damage per hit of this ability, and it probably gave a significant boost to other abilities. Let's try the heal. Uh, that's 2.2k, so that's a full heal when you crit. Before it was 1.9k, and I'm going to try to get a non-crit heal, but I don't think that's happening unless I take a lot of damage in the meantime. Yeah, even the auto attack has strengthened, it appears, because auto attack was, I believe, 155 before, because the auto attack probably derives off of some level of spell damage. So, but I can't fully tell, so I can't be completely sure. 
Yeah, so this ability actually consumes 13 mono when I use it. Which is not a huge deal considering that the I think the other abilities are generally mana positive. Let's see, number two, it consumes seven mana when I use it when it doesn't crit. However, what, what happens when it does crit? I'm not too sure about that. All right, we're low enough to check the heal. So it's 800 non-crit now before I was getting about 700 non-crit, 734 or something. Now I'm getting 818 non-crit. So yes, the rank four passes makes a very big difference. All right, let's get it to rank five. We're almost there. Do we have the time on the boost? Yes, we have plenty. We have nine whole minutes remaining. See, I was right. We'd get definitely, in a class that is supposedly this strong, we'd probably hit rank five before 20 minutes. And that's why I only triggered a 20 minute boost instead of the full long boost. Let's see if I can kill this guy. All right. The only issue I have to say is the fact that this uh, class does have some mana issues seeing as it does slowly drain its own mana. After all, it is a single target class. Multi-target classes tend to have less mana issues on account of getting mana from all enemies they hit. But I think that's fair again. This class is, would be ridiculous if you didn't have that. And this one, I really want to see how much damage that deals. So we're almost there. Well, not almost there. We're only 57%. But the class is very quick, so we don't have to worry too much about that. We'll just shred the enemies along the way, you know, nothing major, nothing minor. Alright, hit him with my auto. So yeah, the auto is 152. Oh, that was probably a buff by In the Spotlight. So I think In the Spotlight is not, doesn't always work for some reason, because I'm not seeing the auto attack increase always. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I don't see any issues with the class, other than the mana regen's not perfect. But that's fair, because Evolved Darkcaster does have mana issues as well, if you're not careful. But they don't. But you can generally span the skills, and unless you don't crit, you hit a long chain of not critting, there, there shouldn't be any problems. So here we are at 10,798, so about 80%. That zero wasn't cut off, I can't quite tell, because that zero is cut off. So that's a little bit difficult to see, but that's not too much of an issue either, so let's keep going. So like I said, it's most likely a boss soloing class, so after I hit rank 5, I'm going to go take it and try to solo boss. That's fair, right? Go solo boss? I think that's about right. And I'm going to see if this class is capable of soloing the Blood Titan. So it's definitely not capable of soloing the Doom Kitten because it's a normal heal and uh, Doom Kitten inverts normal heals so you take damage from your heal instead of dealing damage. So most likely the heal will be a suicide thing. Alright, let's hit this guy with just no buffs burned by light if I can wait, if I can get one more mana and actually use ability. Alright, so it deals 1300 damage straight up and it deals 191 dot over 10 seconds, so 5 ticks of that. So it'll deal a total of, and it does 3755 3, straight up on a crit. Its cooldown is relatively short at 15 seconds for such a powerful nuke. Yeah, pretty impressed with this class. And we're done at solid 14 minutes in. All right, let's go check on the Blood Titan. So what I'm thinking here is most likely I'm going to just stack Lingering Light and maybe pl uh, shoot off a full few Burn by Lights. Seeing as decreasing opponent's chance to hit when the opponent is guaranteed to hit isn't really relevant, I'm going to not use that ability too much. So seeing as we don't have any mana issues, I'm going to fire off a nice nuke and hit him hard in the face. So right now we're doing pr plenty well, but he has not blood raged yet. So I just got to be a little careful with the mana, because again, I'm going to be needing to heal quite often, I would like to say. And I'll probably heal when he starts blood raging, or once I get pretty low. So yeah. So we've taken out a good chunk of his health before he's blood raged. I got a crit heal, so that's basically a full heal on me. And I don't think we have any mana issues yet, thanks to... Uh, Move number five. 
and the amount of damage she's dealing is slowly decreasing I'd like to say because of num because of number two let's pull up a heal here he hasn't blood raged yet but his amount his damage up is slowly decreasing okay now he's blood raged let's take one more hit before we hit, hit the heal button all right nice a full heal and here we're as you can see the damage of that has gotten nearly to 7,000 thanks to number two just increasing its power damage and that one's about 1200 so we're we've gotten to a pretty hefty damage output point so all right let's hit a heal we did not get a full heal this time but i don't think it will threaten our life because he only attacks every two seconds and that means he gets six attacks in of about 250 damage so that's maybe 1500 damage mm, i'm not sure that should have threatened our life maybe his attack speed is a little slower than i thought or maybe Blood Rage just ended, I can't tell. Alright, to hit our heal button, we take a full heal. That's dealing 8.5k damage. So as time goes on, our mana regen gets much better because our da damage output gets much stronger. So yeah, we are clearly going through this completely fine. Obviously our heal's ability should also be increasing, although I'm, I don't see a 118 is how much it healed previously. So it should hit off intellect. Okay, so I'm starting to hit a few mana issues. Got to be a little bit more careful now. Let's take a heal. All right, and yeah, now my auto attacks are dealing a ridiculous amount of damage. Ten thousand on that one. So, wow, this class is amazing at soloing. It just took out the Blood Titan with basically no issues whatsoever. That's pretty good. Stone Crusher is another one of those classes that can do it, but Stone Crusher does have a few, you know, issues in that when it runs out of mana, it tends to suck. And Stone Crusher does have some mana issues. This class also has mana issues, but really, as the fight wears on and on and on, you get more and more stacks of Lingering Light. Excuse me and your mana regen your mana issues just disappear so i'm really glad with this the rank 10 passive i believe is the 15 percent less damage see that's insect increase and that's haste increase so that brings us up to just under 32 percent haste haste is really powerful especially when your nuke already has a low cooldown as you can see it dealt like 10,000 damage without any issues so as you can see that there's no problem there and so the rank 10 passive is that 50 percent extra damage which further increases this class's power level so i'm really really happy with this class they're probably going to turn the test class into say ma basic mage or something obviously i'm going to keep the test class like i did with the um galeo seal berserker just as a memento of my time with the test class Yes, I could change the Glacial Berserker test to the Glacial Berserker armor, but I'm going to leave it as that because it's just going to be a memento of my time with the test class. Alright, thanks for watching my friendly friends, and have a wonderful day. Ah, I'm so glad there was actually something for me to do today. And I'm really happy that they got the Evolved Light Caster going. I mean, I didn't buy those armors for nothing, did I? <laughs> That's a lot of ACs. Alright, I'm out. Have a good day.